Title, Charles Chuck Barkley dunks $5 million into Auburn's hoop, after affirmative actions whistle. T.L.D.R. The basketball legend and human cash cannon, Charles Barkley, is circumventing the recent Supreme Court decision against affirmative action by revising his will to offer scholarships for black students at Auburn University, his alma mater. His big-hearted move sees him tossing a cool $5 million towards ensuring diversity remains on the roster at Auburn, in the face of a ruling that could change the game plan for education and employment nationwide. Now, let's break this news down in all its March Madness glory. Like the MVP he is, Charles Chuck Barkley has proven yet again that his moves off-court are just as impactful as those on it. When the Supreme Court slapped the ban hammer on affirmative action, declaring it unconstitutional to factor race into college admissions or employment decisions, Barkley knew he needed to dribble past this obstacle. I need to make sure black folks always have a place at Auburn, the basketball icon mused after the ruling. And sure enough, he's calling his shot and putting up a weighty $5 million in scholarships exclusively for black students. But, wait a minute, doesn't it seem a bit strange that a court ruling could shift the entire student body's composition? Isn't it a tad ironic that a ruling that seems aimed at ensuring equal protection could potentially result in less diversity? When it comes to Auburn, a university, where the stats show that only a bit over 5% of students are black, Barclays' pledge isn't just a slam dunk, it's a buzzer beater. Auburn Tigers, you're in for some extra growl. No doubt, Barclays' move is a defiant bounce pass around the ruling that could have far-reaching implications, even off the court and into the workforce. Who's to say where this ripple effect will end? Will other celebs or successful alumni from universities across the country follow Barclays' lead? Let's also remember, though, that Sir Charles isn't just doing this to stick it to the man. He's doing it because he wants to ensure that everyone, regardless of their race, has a fair shot at the hoop of opportunity. Now, that's what we call a triple-double. This brings us to our final question, does this action merely slap a band-aid on the larger issue at hand, or could it kickstart a new trend of private fund allocation to ensure diversity within institutions? What are the potential repercussions, and could it lead to unexpected consequences? Disclaimer, this story and the opinions expressed within are the sole viewpoints of Turned Up News and are not intended as legal or financial advice. Always do your own research, folks.